Mind behind the glass, 919 We're talking a little football. With Deion Sanders going to continue that. But we got to pause for the call because it's all about shoot around with C.L. Brown. He's the, uh, of course, the c- covers the basketball and all things for the uh, news and observer. He's C.L. Brown. Good morning, C.L. How you doing this morning, Good my morning. friend? Good morning. I am well. I am well. Good morning, good people. Well, I got, I got, I got my thoughts on Dion too. Though. Come on. Okay, g- give it to us. G- <laughs> give it to us, man. I Let's can't wait talk to hear this. About it. What, what you got? Dion set himself up for all of this backlash because of how, when he first got to Jackson State, just how how he talked about it, mm-hmm. and he he was essentially saying the same change the game stuff there, and you, I mean. You don't really change the game in three seasons. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yes, he 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 did a lot of good. He brought a lot of attention to Jackson State and HBCUs as a whole. Sure. But, I mean, was Eddie Robinson Jr. wrong? You know, when well, he's like, he ain't swag? Well, he out! <laughs> well, wait, no. Yeah, so and why, and why yeah. go out of your way to, to be like, if I'm not swag, who is swag? And, and you know you're probably leaving. You know, and my my only thing with Dion, though, is it doesn't matter what he says publicly. To me, it's about what he's told recruits. So for for the Hunter kid, for instance, that he got to flip from Florida State, Mm -hmm. um, if he's not going to Colorado, then, you know, I mean, he committed to Dion. These kids don't commit to schools. They commit to coaches. Yeah, you that's, that's most right. Whatever do that. system you're right. going to play in, right. yeah, you, you want to play for somebody who uh, you basically trust and believe in during that recruiting process. Mm. So, you know, I mean, most coaches, you know, they're going to tell you they're going to coach you for your career, right? Mm. right. So th- th- that's my only thing. Whatever he told the recruits, if he told them straight up, I don't know if I'm going to be here four years. Mm-hmm. But you come on, then that's one thing. But if mm. he sold something different to them, which I haven't seen yet, so I don't know. I'm not saying he did sell them a false, you know, sale, right, 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 uh, right, a bill of goods. But um, that that's what I'm looking for. Mm. If, if as long as he's mm. true to those kids and their family, then I'm good with what he did. Yeah. But if 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 it starts coming out that he's not, then. That that's when I would jump on the well on the uh, bandwagon. Yeah, he, he did he did mention that he had ten other kids, inclu- uh in addition to his sons, coming to Colorado. Maybe Travis Henry, I think that's his name, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hunter. May- yeah, Hunter. Hunter. Yeah, maybe he's part of that. But that's that's an opinion. I you know I don't agree with a hundred percent in terms of he 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 said up front with it in the six minutes that would he entertain that's would he entertain the job uh a job office or in, uh, interview someone else. He said I got to take a look at it. So he was he was clear about that. Yeah, so pe- that's people... now though. I'm saying he's been there three seasons right, and all right. of those uh, since he's been there, it's all been about for the culture. Yeah, and yeah, right. Melvin yeah. Jackson State and HBCUs, et cetera, et cetera. So mm, okay. Yeah, you know. that's that, and and your point is is is, is a position a lot of people are taking. Mm-hmm. Say so he sold he sold JSU out. I'm not sure all that's true either. No, but, I'm yeah. not saying he sold them out, okay. but I'm just saying he's I'm saying he he set himself up for this. Mm-hmm. So the the criticism okay. that he's getting, that's fair. I'm, I don't that's blame exactly, people yeah. for that's criticizing fair. That's him fair. Yeah, because that's fair. he put himself in that position. Yeah. If he would have just come in and and kept his head down, because I mean, let's be realistic, he took a job that probably well definitely nobody else in his position has ever done you know but um you know it it wasn't necessarily the most uh attractive position to begin with he just made it that way yeah but he he, he didn't have to do what he did so you know i think he needs to get credit for that too yeah i mean he could have came to st aug and changed the culture over there i mean he could well he would have gone right he would have brought that same uh level of attention because of who he is yes yeah Yeah. exactly yeah yeah. All right, so tell me this. Whew. What the hell is going on in Chapel Hill? Please it's the question. Us. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I didn't hear you. What you say? Basketball. I didn't, I didn't hear you. Wait, what Basketball. You <laughs> sorry, you, you sorry, I mean, sound like yeah, you were breaking so, up there. What would you say? <laughs> you're going through the tunnel. Yeah, you're going through well, the tunnel. I think, I think first and foremost, without, you know, without trying to put all the blame on one person. Mm-hmm. I do think that um, Armando Baycott hasn't been what he was at the end of last season. Mm. And the offense works best when it's going through him, you know, and you could tell that in the first half against Virginia tech, 
I, I felt like there wasn't a, a real focus or purpose about what they were doing on offense. Right. You know what I mean? It, it was really almost like a filling out process. And so, um, you know, uh, it, it's important that he get healthy. So I don't, I don't know what it looks like for Georgia Tech in terms of whether he's going to play or not because um, I'm not sure that, that he really knows. You know what I mean? Um, he tried to give it a go at Virginia Tech. So. Right at least in a warm up so what have you so uh so we'll we'll see but um even though he's been posting numbers when he played it, it, he hadn't been the same yeah, you it, know what i mean these, when you look these at these are him, different kind of numbers like, you know i guess yes. he he gets them differently than he did last year right. is that right see right. We, we, it's not only he gets differently yeah. it's just a different like i don't feel like he's as assertive mm. and as aggressive yeah. Yeah. like mm. it, it's something mm. that feels like it's missing mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not saying it's the the NIL money mm-hmm. and how Let's he spent his way. summer and, and doing X, Y, Z. Because I, I don't know that to be true necessarily. Mm-hmm. But I know people are going to yeah. start looking at it and right. start saying <laughs> well, that. But, but, you know? uh, yeah. We, we're talking to C.L. Brown uh, covers the Tar Heels for News and Observer. I may have this wrong, but did were you on the road with them everywhere they went? In the uh, during this little period, CL man, I've been a zombie, <laughs> <laughs> traveling zombie. The the other night, I stayed over in Blacksburg because I was just too dry, tired to drive home, and I went downstairs to the front desk for something. I forgot my room number. That was like oh, wow. that was wow. literally. Wow. I went from Portland to Indiana to to Charlotte for football to Blacksburg. So. That's what I was thinking. I thought he was it's in Charlotte. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's so been a blur. yeah, I said it. Said it. So you know, you up close and personal, and we, I, I love your secondary breaks. By the way, you can check yes. them out on Instagram. The good stuff. I appreciate that. But but. At CL Brown Hoops on Instagram. There you go, but but so you you know I mean you right there in the middle of this thing. So you, I guess your commentary about what's what's some of the things that's going wrong. I think people have to take literally because you, you've been right there with the team. Well, I try. Yeah. <laughs> I try to make my observations and, and, you know, just from talking to people. But you can also look at what Caleb Love and R.J. Davis have done, too. And Hubert said this, I think this was after the Indiana game, like your your big players have to play like it. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. You're, you're, um, and their shooting percentages have been down, um, you know, at Virginia Tech that game. They, they had some kind of uncharacteristic turnovers, um, especially like trying to split, you know, split the uh, double team. Yes. When Virginia Tech would hedge hard on, on pick and rolls and stuff. Uh, they combined for five turnovers that game. Um, that's too high for these two guys to right. be juniors, you know, experienced backcourt. Um, that's, that's too high. So uh, everybody's got some work to do over there. I think the, the kind of, you know, silver lining, if you will, in this. Um, Seth Trimble and Tyler Nickel gave good minutes uh, at, at Virginia Tech. Um, obviously, Puff Johnson is back in the lineup from, you know, from him uh, having to sit out from his, his health issues. And I, I really think, I don't know how much Hubert Davis is going to use it, but I really think that second half when they extended the defense. I, I agree. Pressure, a little bit pressure, more. yep. Yeah, because yep. they they have they have enough athletes, they have a, a deep enough bench to where they can do that and not yeah. get fatigued, mm-hmm. and he can rotate guys in and out, and it helps speed them up because that's the other thing they they haven't been playing at a very fast pace, at least the the pace that that's we're used point. to from a from a Carolina team, and they haven't got a lot of easy baskets this year. They haven't been really out in transition this year, so um, I think that could help. Mm. Wow. Do they like each other? Uh, I haven't seen any any evidence to the contrary. I think last year, um, I, I'm not sure that Dawson Garcia ever really, you know, right, fit right. in. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, and, and part of that was on him. Like, I, I don't think this is a team that's hard to get along with and, and characters who are hard okay. to get along with. Okay. And they, they, they're still upbeat and still, you know, keeping kind of a positive spin. It, mm-hmm. It's, it's everybody kind of questioning what's, you know, what are we doing wrong? <laughs> but I think their, their, you know, their minds and their hearts are in the right place. Like mm-hmm. even, I feel like the criticism Caleb Love gets is unfair. <laughs> um, 
because I don't think he's. What's criticism uh, in that? What's criticism <laughs> of that? How, I, <laughs> she, she know I, back I, feel, I feel like you're talking to me. What, what's criticism? <laughs> <laughs> what criticism which, of that? Which one? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I don't think that Caleb is a selfish player. I think he's oh, a player uh, who who tries to make plays. Like okay. he tries. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, okay, he gotcha. he he knows his ability. You know, I mean, I think I think RJ has done some similar type things, you know, like when you're kind of in a rut, when the offense is stagnant or whatever, um, I feel like those guys believe, OK, if I do this, then we, I can kind of get this jump started. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I think it's, you know, I think it might be trying too hard. Not, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think I think that's to exactly do it by yourself, but yeah. it's not like no, that's a selfish. Right. I'm yeah. trying to get my no, numbers. You're right. No, you're right. right. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Caleb, he, yeah, everybody's I, standing I, around. He's like, well, I'll do it. Yeah, nobody else yeah. gonna do it. I'll do it. Caleb has been taking the same kind of shots every year he's been here. Like what he's done this year is nothing new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't think. You know, he's he's not being as efficient this year. Right. But, you know, again, they <laughs> they both had pretty efficient games against Virginia Tech. They didn't, yeah. you know, outside of those turnovers, they both I had think, 18. Yeah. They did, both didn't take a lot of shots to get there. They both got mm-hmm. to the free throw line. You know, they, they were doing a lot of things right. Um, but it's just, you know, obviously it's not adding yeah. up to wins right now. Yeah, it's not. And, and the Tar Heel Nation is, is really nervous. But, you know, it's it, we, it's December. It's not February or March. So everybody need to calm down. <laughs> And, and see well, but we we keep saying that, but it keeps you <laughs> know, know what I mean. I know the, the, the it's, it's getting ready turning. to be. So yeah, at some point you gotta you gotta <laughs> yeah. you know <laughs> clamp down, yeah. turn the corner yeah. because they what they've done right now. They're they've they're out of opportunities for great wins in non conference. I mean, they gotta hope that Ohio State keeps playing well oh, and yeah. stays in the top oh, 25 yeah. mm-hmm. and they got to get that win, you know, when they play um, uh, in the CBS classic and Michigan isn't again, kind of like last year They're they're not as good as, as we expected, at least, you know, right now, maybe they'll turn a corner too, but, but Carolina you know, has them, has them in a couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that'd be interesting. So we're too. talking about NCAA seeding right now. Like they mm-hmm. lost the opportunity for some, some great wins, um, in, uh, Portland, you know, um, and some okay. great teams, you know, the opportunity, they lost the opportunity when they lost at Indiana for a great road win. So, you know, they, they got to do something because then we're looking at, not being, you know, having to fight through as a as a lower seed in the NCAA tournament. I don't think they're an eight seed. Like I don't think they're going to end up being that low. But you know, they're not going to be a one seed. This is really wow. the AP voters' uh, problem because Reese, they wouldn't have put them at one. They put them at eight. And well, that's what I said. And yeah. they dropped to twelve. Nobody would care, right? But going for no, one, no, they still would care. Yeah. <laughs> you, no. you lived here long enough. Yeah, well, well, no, but see, I, I thought I thought you. There would be sh- no panic. That was a shot at CL because no, he's a voting AP. It's absolutely a shot at CL. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely a shot at CL. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see him for anything. Hey, but see, I, I, I gotta wow. ask you. I gotta ask this question, CL. You, you instigate, me, Earl. Uh, and, and it may be public, I don't know, but they went from one to eighteen nine out of out of the top twenty five. Uh, is is it your vote public or, or is it private? Vote? Yeah, yeah, oh. no, I, I posted. Did you uh, keep them in the top twenty five or they out of the top twenty five? No, why would I keep them in the top twenty five? Because you went like, to Carolina. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Earn it. You know what I'm saying? Well, well Tar Hill, I vote what I see. I know, okay. I know, I know. No, that's good. See, uh, I, 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 well, that, I know well, that's you something they ain't used to over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, wow. see, that's wow. something they ain't used that's to. That's where CL roll. Hey man, we appreciate. It. We up that's against it, brother. Stuff. We'll hey, talk to you next time. Appreciate y'all. Take care.